I'd like to make a presentation on the Surge 2000 animated profiles. Uh, this capability of Surge uh, provides a very impressive graphical presentation of the results. Uh, we also have a standalone post processor, so uh, folks can send this uh, presentation to their clients or other engineers, and uh, uh, this allows them a very uh, effective way of presenting the results of uh, the surge analysis and the results of using various type of surge protection. And it's a very effective way to evaluate pressure surges and surge protection. It's great for client presentations. It's, a, it's an eye-catching capability, and uh, we want all our clients to be aware of it and be able to use it. Now I want to illustrate the animated graphical profiles uh, with this a classic example where we have a pump pumping through a pipeline up to an elevated tank. Uh, the pump trips, which will uh, qu quickly lower the pressure. Uh, you have a check valve. This will shut. You'll get a negative pressure wave going down the line. And you'll have uh, often have high pressure spikes forming and uh, cavitation in the system forming. Various types of surge protection, such as a surge tank, or air vacuum valves uh, can be evaluated using this uh, this graphical uh, profile animations that we have. Now the first uh, presentation will be with no surge protection. Uh, again, the pump's going to trip, and the uh, this is the hydraulic grade line. This indicates how high the pressure is uh, at all points along the pipeline, and when the pump trips, this will drop down and uh, you'll see the effects of uh, the pressure surge as you uh, go through this analysis. So let's take a look at this. You see the pumps run down, the check valve is shut. Uh, you're seeing these pockets of cavitation and you'll see spikes when these uh, cavities collapse. Now at the final, at the end, uh, you have an envelope of the hydraulic grade line or pressures. Uh, it spiked up here to about 150 PSI. All along the line, the negative pressure has reached a value of minus 14 PSI, which is cavitation. So uh, the cavitation has formed uh, all along the pipeline, and, and in many cases, this is unacceptable. Now I want to look at the same transient problem with some surge protection in the form of air vacuum valves. Uh, these are valves that admit air into the system when the pressure drops and expel it when the pressure goes back up. Uh, they're nominal air valves, which mean they have the, a single orifice for admitting the air and expelling the air. So let's uh, see what happens when we trip the pump. We trip the pump, the pressure wave goes down. Uh, now I want to stop for a minute. Uh, you see that all three air valves have been activated, and uh, there's been no cavitation form in the line beyond the original reach. So at this point, the air valves have been uh, successful in preventing downsurge. But I want you to take a look at this when we start up again. Uh, we'll see a phenomena called air slam. Once this air is expelled, if the water columns come together too rapidly, you get a, a large pressure surge, which can initiate additional transient problems. So let's look at this. You see when the air's out, you get this pressure surge, and now you start seeing cavitation form. Uh, in intermediate points. So now the analysis is complete, uh, but we've had high pressure spikes and cavitation all along the line. So these air valves weren't uh, effective in, in reducing the high pressures and the cavitation. Now there are anti-slam air valves that uh, would be more effective for doing this. Okay, now we want to look at the same situation with a surge tank in place. Uh, while the air valves provided what I call passive surge control because they responded to the down surge, the surge tank provides what we call active surge control because it uh, operates in such a way as to uh, eliminate the surge rather than to react to it. Uh, when the pressure drops, water comes out of the surge tank and replaces the water that's lost due to the pump trip and therefore can reduce the amount of transient pressure that we get. So let's play this and see what happens. 
You can see the pressure drops. The surge tank is providing water. It was initially half full, and now the water surface oscillates up and down. Uh, we actually run this for a full minute, 60 second simulation. Now, the interesting thing here is that the envelope of pressure is contained between this upper limit and the lower limit. Uh, the initial, let me go back to the initial. The initial hydraulic grade line was this, so we have very little additional pressure, and the pressure drop was very much contained. So the surge tank has been extremely effective in uh, eliminating the surge problem.